Hello, I'm Dr. Rupinda Kaur Ruprai, working as a specialist gynecologist in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And through this video, I wish to talk to you about cosmetic gynecology and what's trending now. So cosmetic gynecology, the top requests that we essentially see are those for either appearance, performance, or patients with gynecological problems where they are just wanting to improve themselves, especially in terms of their function. These treatments break down into either surgery, involve medications, or involve newer technologies. And these technologies use energy-based devices. What we have to keep in mind is that there are many more patients out there that want to have non-surgery or non-invasive techniques to improve themselves as compared to undergoing an invasive surgical procedure. So the non-surgical pool is actually larger in the practice and this is what we are seeing more and more every day. Why is that happening? This is essentially happening because when we compare surgical and non-surgical procedures, we're actually comparing essential elements such as the cost factor. You have to keep in mind that the non-invasive procedures are offered at at least 50% of the cost of that of a surgery. Also, if you look at the other elements such as pain, non-invasive techniques these days. They are actually absolutely painless. They're therefore performed as an outpatient procedure which is done in just a few minutes of the time. Also these are called as lunchtime procedures. So where a patient just walks in and walks right out, they do not require anesthesia, most of them. And there is very little downtime or maybe absolutely no downtime at all. And this is why we're having more and more patients with the non-invasive techniques. So the best, as described by Dr. Pelosi, the Lamborghini of these energy-based devices is the CO2 laser machine and none other than the Alma Femilift CO2 laser machine, which is a pixelated delivery of the CO2 laser. And why is this good? The machine is actually good for providing better lubrication. It reduces dryness. It gives better elasticity of the tissue, of the vaginal tissue, by enhancing not just collagen, but also the elastin production, uh, especially as we see as one nears perimenopausal age group or also in the postmenopausal age group. It helps to restore back the extracellular matrix, so it remodels the extracellular matrix of the vaginal tissue or any tissue wherever this energy is applied. It has profound effects on incontinence, especially if it is mild to moderate incontinence. And now what we are really seeing is we're also seeing uh, added benefit when we use it for lichen sclerosis. We have also now started using this machine for postnatal rehabilitation of the tissues. Again, we're just trying to restore back the extracellular matrix. We're trying to remodel it back. So it's got amazing results. And the effects are, though they are temporary, they're also ongoing. What we're really doing by using energy-based devices, especially the Femilift, is we are creating, we're reversing the age. So it is more of an anti-aging procedure as well. Now, to expand its indications, you can also combine it with surgery. For example, you can combine it when you're doing a vaginoplasty. You can combine it with a hymenoplasty. You can also combine it if you're just using pharmacotherapy. What else can you do with the Femilift? You can use it actually for rejuvenation of the tissues around the vagina. So you can use it for vulval rejuvenation, where you can use it for labia majora resurfacing. You can use it for labia majora reduction. You can also use it for introital rejuvenation. So you can use it for labia minora resurfacing, labia plasty, as well as hymenoplasty. You can also use this machine to treat pathology wherein you can use different modes of excision or also you can use it to ablate certain lesions such as genital warts. We can also expand its use to the rest of the body so it can definitely be used even on the face or other parts of the body for skin resurfacing. So Femilift is actually an all-in-one package, very cost-effective if one actually invests into it. As a doctor, as a practitioner, we are always combining. So we're always combining. We're not just offering one procedure. If a patient usually walks in, she actually ends up asking you what else can, you know, how else can we improve her appearance? How else can we improve her functionality? Whatever the indication be. So you could actually consider using it, for example, you could use it if you could resurface the skin. If she's coming to you for a vaginoplasty and you want to actually 
uh, you know, reverse back even the tissues on the outside, that is on the vulva, you could offer a vaginal rejuvenation coupled with even a skin resurfacing of the vulva. Integrative strategy is always the best because it drives maximum volume. Surgery provides relative price contrast, but it's the combination that actually delivers maximum effects and market distinction. So the bottom line up front is without non-surgery, you're losing a ton of business. Um, Femilift is really a machine that really gives you all-in-one as an all-in-one package. I'm really happy and very excited that now Femilift is available in India and I'm so excited and happy for all my colleagues and all the pioneers and the leading doctors that are now actually investing into this and that have incorporated this into their practice. We are doing wonders in the United Arab Emirates with this and I'm really thrilled that now even in India we have this. I wish you good luck. Thank you.